Hello, so let's go through the last week of our June holiday homework. Okay, so sublime. Okay, first and foremost, what's sublime? Sublime means solid becomes gas immediately. There's no liquid state. And there's only a few examples that we learned. So first is iodine. Solid becomes iodine vapor. Carbon dioxide solid, which is your dry ice, become carbon dioxide G. And there's one more example, which is a bit odd, a bit in unique. So ammonium chloride solid becomes two gases. So you realize that you may have seen this particular reaction more, quite frequently because of the fact that when it's subline, it gives you two gases. So different gases will diffuse at different speed. So you may see in a diffusion question as well. Anyway, so separation of particles. So when you change from solid to gas, of course it will increase. Solid to gas. Next, energy of particles. The energy will also increase. Your solid is described as vibrate about fixed position. They barely, they can barely move. Whereas gases are described as moving at high speed in random direction. So it has higher energy and the forces between them is lower. That's why they are far apart compared to the solid state is closely packed in an orderly manner. Okay, next, compound X, which is apparently soluble in the, which is present in the solid, liquid and gaseous form. Okay, so A is wrong. I mean, A, they are all molecule. Whether your molecule is, okay, maybe X is a bit unknown to you, but let's use water then. If I have one water, one water molecule in a solid state and one water molecule in a gaseous state, it is still water, it is still H2O. Why would the mass change? So the lower mass part is where is wrong here. Next, energy is absorbed when it changes from liquid to solid. Really? Isn't liquid to solid essentially freezing? You need to take in energy to freeze. Ah. So it's wrong. D is wrong. They don't vibrate about fixed position re describe. It's a descriptive term for solids. So I said C. Ah. Okay, which one gives out energy? So just based on the fact that it says give out energy, ah, don't take energy. Some of these options are wrong. This is wrong. And this is wrong. Sublimation is solid to gas. You actually need to heat it. Boiling is liquid to gas. Also need to heat it. So these two are not possible. So you're left with gas to liquid and liquid to solid. And the answer is B because of the second segment. Largest change in volume. Solid, very, 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 very close together. Liquid, a little bit further apart. But gases are so far apart. The volume of a gas can be very big. Yep. Okay, next. Oh, so they're asking, is a more type of question. Sure, let's take a look. Do they have the same number of carbon atom? Sure, let's take a look. So I can see that your ethanoic acid has one more of Okay, so your one more of CH3COOH versus one more of C2H C2H6. This is a type. This is a typo. Ethane is C2H6. It, okay so in terms of option a it is true because one ch3coh how many c can you see you can see two what so there is two more of c this is also two more of c i'm gonna color code it for you two moles of c because one two two so actually answer is a yeah.
What about B? Number of atoms. So one CH three COOH atom. Atom means alone. You split it to atom. It has two C, two O, four H, which is a total of eight atom. The other side would be three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The other side is C two H six. One C two H six gives you two C plus six H, which is also eight atom. So this is a pretty odd question. B is also true. Number of hydrogen atom. Okay, let's count then. You realize that one C H three C O O H. I don't have to write it again. I'm just I'm gonna use different high the hydrogen atom. One. Give you four. So one gives you six. So they are different. So this is four, more of H. This is six more of H. So this is different. So C is wrong. Number of electron. Electron, not even valence, ah. Huh? So let's count then. So C. Has six, so two six plus two eight plus four one. Ah,、uh, calculator. Two times six plus two times eight plus four. A thirty-two electron. The other side is two times six plus six one. Eighteen electron. So this is wrong. Yep. Okay, next. Ah, so I look at this right. First thing is a eleven proton. Eleven proton means what element is it? You realize that eleven is ah、uh, sodium. Then I can count also one, two, four, six, eight, ten. I counted ten electron. So if I have eleven proton, which is eleven times plus one, and ten electron, which is ten times minus one, you end up with a plus one charge. So it is not an anion. It is not an atom. It is not an atom. D, sodium ion lah, basically. Yup, question eight. Conduct electricity using mobile ions, ah,、huh? mobile ions isn't it just ionic? So which one out here is ionic? A, no. B is a metal. C is covalent. D is covalent but the giant molecular type. Yep. Hmm. So we are supposed to find the mass of the compound. Sure. So that's I like to figure out what element all these are. So twenty. This is atomic number is actually just a number of proton. So if I have twenty proton, two eight eight two. I think is referring to calcium. Nine two seven. F. So calcium. So P, which is calcium, which is group two, there is two valence electron, and because you have two, it's easier to lose the two electron, so you end up with a Ca two plus. Q, Q is F, F is group seventeen. Doesn't mean seventeen valence electron, it means seven valence electron. Seven valence, so you will gain one electron. F minus cross method, you end up with C A one F two, which is C A F two. And how? What's the mass of C A F two? Mass equal to mole times m r, which I'm gonna take it as one mole times the m r, which is C F two. Forty plus two times nine. Fifty-eight. 
so mass is mole times m ah huh? so uh yes mole it's one one mole m r m r is p two this is p q two right and figure out the mass ah isn't a p forty p q two plus q q is nineteen two times nineteen. 19, 19, 30, 38, 38, 78 gram. C, yay. Okay, question 10. So, there are very big differences in your number. Covalent bonds are not weaker than ionic bonds. They are equally strong or covalent can even be stronger. It's the weak intermolecular forces that is really weak. Lah. B is wrong because how is ionic compound metallic bonding? Don't make sense. You're left with C and D. So Sodium has weak intermolecular forces. Uh, that is true. And then, do we take this as correct? What about option D? Weaker bond with chlorine and sodium. It is true. There is indeed weaker bond. But would that explain the big difference? No, it, it must be a covalent substances that's present because covalent substances are so low. Yep. Two more page. So you need to state whether it's true or false first. Okay, let's take a look. So, which is true or false? Huh? And explain. Huh? So, does a compound compound containing ion is referring to ionic compound? Huh? So, ionic compound low melting boiling point. Meh? No, what? Huh? It's false. And explain. So, we'll say that it is a. Is one mark lah, So we shouldn't don't need to write. So, so, a lot of energy. Needed to overcome. The strong electrostatic forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions. Therefore, high melting boiling point. All right. Allotropes of carbon, no ah. Example of allotropes is basically your diamond graphite. Yep, so they have different physical property. So this is false. You don't really have to go so much in depth to the extent, oh, in the week. Intermolecular forces between layers and all don't need. You can just say that diamond is hard, but your graphite is soft. And slippery. I won't write the full explanation for them lah, cause it's one mark and so limited space. Okay, C. Alloy is a mixture of metals. Again, false. Alloys are mixtures. Consisting of a metal and other 
metal metals yep then you have d d forces of attraction is actually weak so everything here is false in that sense so this is false so your weak intermolecular forces of attraction between your molecules in co2 yep next one what's a single covalent bond it just means that it's a sharing of two sharing of one electron each by the two atoms atoms so in this case, let's say H and CL. H will take one, CL will take one, and they will share this one electron each. To, mm. Then you're supposed to draw your dot and cross. So first thing, dot and cross. You need to figure ionic or covalent. This is covalent. They already say covalent. So H, CL. Group 1, group 17. 7 valence. So if you have 7, you only need one more. When you need one, you share one. Then you'll be, you may think, oh, I'm done. But don't forget, the last step is make sure you show all the valence electron. Seven, eh? I still got six more to go. Ah, then that's correct. And the very last question. If the density is one gram per cm cube, can you find the mass? This is, this is so lower sec math. Lower sec science. So density equal to mass over volume. So mass equal to density times volume, which is 1 gram per cm cube times 180 cm cube. So you have 180 gram. Oh, cool. Calculate the mole of water. So quite straightforward. Mole of H2O is mass over MR, which is 180 divided by 21 plus 16 equal to 10 mole. Then they ask you for molecules. So if you recall, the formula is mole equal to number of particles 6.02 times 10 to 23, the avocado constant. And particles means molecule, atoms, Electron ions. So your mole of water basically is not straightforward yet. So you adjust it. So the number of H2O molecule equal to the mole times the avocado. Six point oh two times ten about twenty two. Three SF, yay. So and ah, the so formula here is mole equal to mass over mr. So the mass equal to mole, which is one times mr. So in this case, it's twelve times oh, oops, twenty two times twelve. Last, oops, 12 times 12 plus 22 times 1 plus 11 times 16. So calculator say 12 times 12 plus 22 plus 11 times 16. 3, 4, 2, G. Last one. Oh. You can calculate the number of mole of sugar in your cup of tea. Oh, question says what? Question says that the tea, your cup of tea, use one teaspoon of sugar, which is two gram. Two gram. So mole of sugar, two divided by three, four, two. Zero point zero zero
zero point zero zero or one five eight five three SF. Yep, that's about it. Thank you.